Okay, this is the end of the uh, day of the uh, last video. Now I've been busy today. I've uh, had the bobcat uh, bring in all the yellow sand. So um, I've got a little bit of sand, more sand put in behind the wall. I've got to uh, compact that yet. Um, I've also attached that uh, black uh, drain container to the top of the uh, sump tank. Now that's going to come up through the waterbed uh, that we're going to have uh, that's going to go across the full width um, and be about 1.2, maybe 1.4 metres wide. Um, so that's going to come up through the centre of it. I'll just shoot over here. Now the ladder, the reason that's there is just to uh, give me a bit of a guide on the height. So I'll just get down a bit so you can see that that's just beautiful on height. Um, so that's going to stick out just above the water level um, of our waterbed. So, so that's all bolted securely there. Um, you can see down in the centre there I've uh, got it bolted and celastic and uh, that goes in right to the sump so I'm going to be able to lower my uh, sump pump um, into the bottom there. Okay, so that's that area. Now I've been putting water in to uh, the, um, I'm not sure if you can see it there, it goes right up. I've just basically filled the entire base of the pool which gives me depth wise on the uh, the retaining wall end probably about five maybe six hundred uh, millimeters so we're ready to basically start shoveling in that yellow fill in behind the wall and with a combination of a compactor and if you can see that white pipe there hanging out over the edge that's how I'm filling the pool but that's also my water spike uh, that I ram down in um, by ramming that down into the ground with the tap turned on obviously uh, the water uh, dissipates the air pockets, the air particles in between each um, particle of sand which increases the um, compaction ratio. You end up with about 25-30% compaction on uh, clean fill sand so I've ordered 10 metres of dirt um, I estimated I'd need about five, but I wanted to have about a 200 mil overlay over the whole area, so hopefully that's going to be a perfect amount. So, And you can see in behind to the right of the sump tank there, I can't get the compactor in that area, um, so I'm using a serious amount of water to uh, remove all the air particles. So, um, yeah, so I've now filled it with a lot more water, so I'm basically ready to shift some of the yellow sand down there and uh, run the compactor over it so I'm gonna do that so I'll get some more work done tomorrow and I'll uh, make another video at, uh, at that point in time but it's another step closer